Hello, my name is Catherine Huang, Product Marketing Manager at MPS. In this video, we will walk you through a 15-minute evaluation process of the EVM38222, which is an evaluation board of the MPM38222, a dual 2M output, 2.7 to 6-volt input step-down power module in a small 4x4 by 1.6mm QFN package. The MPM38222 has integrated inductor, requires only one 0603 input capacitor, two 0603 output capacitors, four feedback resistors, and comes in a very compact 7x9mm solution size. In applications such as high-speed optical modules, navigation systems, and camera modules, performance and space are very critical, and this poses design challenges for all the components, including the power supply. A power supply with the smallest solution size, high efficiency, fast transient, and low noise are key features, and the MPM38222 is an ideal fit. By using MPS standard evaluation board, we configure the output voltages to be 1.8 volt and 2.5 volt. Equipment used in this evaluation include an oscilloscope, multimeters, a power supply, and an electronic load. Our first measurement will be efficiency. With power off, we connect the current meters to the input and output side to measure input and output currents. We then hook up the handheld multimeters to the input and output ceramic capacitors to measure input and output voltages. After that, turn on the input power supply. With output power off, adjust the input voltage to be 3.3 volt and then turn on the output power. Adjust the load current on the electronic load and connect the input power supply to the VIN and ground pins. The last step is to apply the load currents to the loads and start taking measurements. Let's say we want to measure efficiency for 3.3 volt in at 1.8 volt out and 2.5 volt out at 2 amp load. We need to have enough data points to plot efficiency curves. Efficiency is a function of output power, V out times I out, over input power, V in times I in. As an example, we are going to measure efficiency at 100 milliamp, 1 amp, and then 2 amp loads. At each load current, we measure V in, V out, I out, I in, and then calculate efficiency. Repeat the same steps for different load currents and then create plot, such as the one in this curve. As you can see, using the MPM38222 to support two rails can really simplify the design. In applications where power dissipation budget is very stringent, any kind of efficiency improvement from the power supply is very beneficial. Next, we are going to measure ripple voltage. With the same test setup, we connect the scope probe to the output ceramic capacitor. The measurement loop of the probe needs to be as small as possible to avoid any unwanted noise. Set the scope to AC coupling and capture waveform. For many applications, low noise is important, and thanks to its high switching frequency, the MPM38222 can provide clean output with peak-to-peak -peak voltage ripple less than 20 mV using only one 22 microfarad 0603 ceramic capacitor. The last step is low transient. Again, using the same test setup, adjust the electronic load to proper specs such as a load transient from 1 amp to 2 amp with 2.5 amp per microsecond slew rate. We now connect the current probe to the scope to measure load current and then connect scope probe to the output ceramic capacitor. Make sure the scope is set to AC coupling and then check the transient waveform on the scope. The MPM38222 consumes only 1.5 watt at 1.8 volt and 2.5 volt output with 3.3 volt input and 2 amp load current. For 1 amp load current, the power consumption is only 0.4 watt. The peak to peak output voltage is less than 15% of the output voltage DC value. 
To learn more about this device and evaluate it yourself, order an EBB today by visiting monolithicpower.com. Thanks for watching.